Hey YouTube, this is Facia with Simply Lavish at Home and today on this Mother's Day I am making my mom a breakfast charcuterie board. Now charcuterie boards are usually things with dried meats and cheeses and things like that but lately they've been popping up on social media with breakfast items like pancakes. My mom prefers crepes so today I am making her a board with crepes so check it out. So to start your breakfast charcuterie, you're going to need a board. So initially I didn't think I was going to find a board big enough, but then I remember I had this aluminum tray and thought it would work well and we're going to pile it up. So I was weirded out by having food directly on to use that brushed metal. So I am starting by placing some parchment paper and I plan to fill this up enough that you won't be able to see the paper underneath. So you usually see these boards done mostly with pancakes um, on social media and things like that. My mom prefers crepes to pancakes, so I'm doing hers with crepes. So you'll see I've piled high a plate full of crepes um, with lemon cream sauce. And you'll see I did a quarter full on my crepes um, so they fit neatly in there. So we just folded them in four and then tuck them neatly underneath like that. So they're crowned the bowl. And this is the centerpiece of our breakfast this morning. So we have that in the center. Now, breakfast is not quite breakfast unless you have bacon. So I cooked up some bacon here and I'm gonna put these right over here in this corner. Let me just pile that up. And my mom also likes things with fish, so I made some salmon croquettes. And what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to spread these around. I'm going to kind of have them flanking the situation like this. But she does very much like fish. And of course, my hands are washed. And cleaned, and you know most cooks cook with their hands. So I'm gonna do these like that. And I have little to no plan, so this is improvising. So if I start moving things around, it's because it's not working out as as I was hoped. So like this, I'm gonna have to move this around a little bit to give room for the salmon. And I made the um, little mini, I used one recipe and broke it down into these little mini things. So they fit more nicely on the tray. Cause I have so much going on with this tray. You know, I didn't want it to, I wanted it all to fit. So, so we just fill in where we need to. Watching how this is looking from up there. It's looking all right. So that's that. So when you're doing the charcuterie board, you put your main things down first because you want those are the things that's going to take up the most room. So so far. We have our crepes, we have our salmon croquettes, we have our bacon. And I have one more meat going down here. So we are going to put down some sausage. And sausage is a popular part of a charcuterie board. So I am going to add some of that. So now, I right now this is missing a little color. So I put a couple of leaves of uh, lettuce here for my sausage to go on. You see I have them draining on a towel. And we have here our sausage. So those are all our main things. So now I'm gonna fill it up with a little bit more um, pastries. So I have some mini scones here that I am going to pile up over here. 
and add some more pastries. Now, once I get all these main things down, I know this is really in need of a lot of color. So that's when we're gonna come in and fill in all the little spaces we need to with fruits of various colors. So we're just gonna pile these up. And there's really no rhyme and reason to this. Um, you put on here the things that you like when I was trying to come up with you know what I was gonna put on the board I just thought about those things that my mom likes to eat she loves scones she loves salmon crepes things like that and then you know other things that folks like to eat um, if I didn't mention that in the middle of the crepes is a lemon cream cheese um, spread that goes on there my mother also likes all things lemon, so the scones are flavored lemon, the cream is flavored lemon, and this bread that I'm about to cut up and put in this other corner is also a lemon flavor. So, so you know, we really cook here, and not everything turns out completely perfectly. I was not paying attention, and I overcooked my bread, but we're going to just shave all those dark things off, because it's still very beautiful on the inside, so... You really cook over here. So you see, I put my bread down, and when you're looking at this, you can see all of this is pretty much the same color. So this is where we come in with our fruit. So I have some strawberries and blackberries and blueberries that I am going to put down to give this plate the color that it really needs. Oh, and I have some grapes and oranges. So we're just going to fill in and keep going until we get to a point where we think it's ready. So I have some strawberries and pile those up. This looks like a good spot for some grapes. I'm going to keep them on the stem and look for pieces that have a lot of, that has a lot of grapes on there and less visible stem. Um, let's need some more strawberries here. I'm thinking I should probably cut up the strawberries. And it's, and it's okay when things touch. So then we have some blue blackberries I'm gonna put right here. Maybe a few blueberries over here. But really fill it up. You want this to be nice and covered in color. If I can see that we need the strawberry right there. I'm wondering if I should do the same pattern on this side. Yeah, actually, I think so. So we're gonna go in with a bunch of grapes right here next to our bacon that I moved. I didn't want to move. Some strawberries. And I think I am gonna come back in with some orange. Give this thing some pop. Some pop. Don't be afraid to shift and move things as you need it. Look, because this just fell and it's not where it's supposed to be. So you shift it and you move it. Shift and move. There we go. Keep adding until I am fully satisfied. Another scone right there. Some more grapes right here. 
and just keep going until you think it's right. So you get the picture and visual that you really want. And so you see, I kept filling and filling and filling, and I may do some more tweaking for more. I went and added some orange slices for a little pop of color, and we know that the lemon is the star of the show, so I put a little wedge of lemon there. And there you have your breakfast charcuterie board. Tell me what you think of this video. If you make a breakfast charcuterie board, let me know. I'd love to see it. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button. And the little bell lets you know every time Simply Lavish posts a video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, here's to Simply Lavishly. Cheers.